50 years ago, the landscape of downtown St. Paul changed all because of one woman's vision. This is fascinating. Yes, Sally Ordway Irvine poured her heart and soul into creating the Ordway Center for the Performing Arts. It opened in 1985. Now, sadly, Sally died just two years later, but the people that work there say she never left. Mm. It's why I asked our psychic and medium, Jody Levon, to check it out with me. And Sally's daughter, Jill, even stopped by to see if her mom would say hi. When we were told that there may be a spirit or two here, and one might be your mom, Sally, <laughs> does that surprise you that she would kind of hang out here? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. She was uh, very vivacious. You never know what she was up to. I never knew what she was going to do. And she sort of had a naughty sense about her, but she was also very creative. Groundbreaking for the Ordway was in December 1982. There's Jill, Sally's daughter, on the far left. This was her baby, so she would hang out here if she could. But also, her, uh, we had her memorial service here, and her ashes are hidden here secretly. Really? No one knows where. Do you know where? <laughs> not, absolutely not. Speaking of your mom, I can't go without talking about what's in between us. You have yes. brought her hat today. Yes. That was one of her favorite hats. It is just beautiful. So you brought this today, obviously, to show us. You can see what oh, it looks Sally's like. here. There. <laughs> <laughs> That's much easier. I mean, that is just gorgeous. This is her hat. This is. Do you keep this with you at home? Yeah. Oh. I just love it when I walk into the auditorium. There's sort of a warm glow you feel automatically. Sally Ordway uh, brought this theater to life many years ago, and we've been told that she still is here. Do you feel a female presence here? Absolutely, and it's uh, has this this person has a very round laugh, like a full round laugh. You know when you sometimes people laugh and it's really high and shrieky. This is like one of those. You'd think she was a a hearty man, like a really beautiful full laugh. She's got her arms around everything going on here, but she's not hyper about it. Well, I started as an usher. And then Usher made my way up to a floor soup, and then uh, from a floor soup made my way up to a, an event supervisor. Mike Brown has worked here for nearly 20 years. The reason we asked you to come today is because we've heard that you've experienced things in the Ordway. I have. As an event supervisor, I'm one of the last people to leave. So the doorkeeper's gone, I go to the stage door, uh, they, they, do, uh, uh, they make the rounds, and I go downstairs and just do some copy and whatever I have to do. And I was, as I was downstairs, I was at the copy machine, and I, I heard a woohoo, just like that. And I, I quick looked down the hall, no one there. I looked everywhere, not a soul in sight. Happy energy here, mischievous spirit energy here, not all earthbound spirits. It's, it's good. I love it. So now it's time to walk around the theater. Jody says that she feels Sally here, and so does Mike. He said the same thing and says he feels warm when he walks in this theater. We're going to tag along and just check out the nooks and crannies, and maybe we'll find her. We're going to head down the stairs, just going to orchestra left. Well, I can tell you that the laughter started right over there, okay. sort of by the stairs. You know, and I'm gonna... there's, sorry, there's male energy here too. What? There's a male energy? There's a male energy here too, a very tall, thin, person and I feel like he had something to do with this place too whether he worked here he could have very likely worked here and he's walking back and forth and he's making sure everything's good here like that the, everything is clear that there's nothing to trip on does this make sense smiling. to you uh, that would probably be Roger and he was a ticket taker but he was tall good looking, good looking. and I thought actually that I, I had seen him one time as well. Jody was right. There's more than one spirit here, but what about Sally? I was cutting through the hall. Everything was dark in there except for the safety lights. And I always like to say hi to Sally. So, hi Sally, how you doing? And up, up by the gallery, I heard a, like that. Well, I thought, well, maybe that's just the heat or something like that. So I, I went back, then I got a return. I said, Sally, was that you? Then I went, and what I heard back was a, just like that. Well, I heard something from up here, something like, like that. It was under the stage where this longtime usher heard what he thought was Sally, but was it? Everybody loves Sally and her presence is everywhere, but she's like an orchestrator of spirit. But there's also um, other spirits here 
and the other spirits were very important and I feel like she's going like this like they are important because the mm -hmm. people that worked here were the foundation part of the biggest part of her foundation and she really appreciates them and she wants them to be he heard also but heading back upstairs in the house is where Jody says Sally likes to be. She wanted other people to have joy and to have glory and that she managed things and she's still managing things. She was worried about enough bathrooms and enough coat racks. And I was worried about enough uh, space in the backstage area. I worried about the backstage, she worried about front and center. And even 30 years later, that front and center is being well taken care of. So it has her warmth and her love, you know, and her enthusiasm for everything. Fascinating. It's a beautiful place. So I never got a spooky feeling being at the Orbway. There have been stories I've gone to with Jody and been like, I don't want to walk in. I didn't <laughs> feel like that at all. But Sally Sauter Jill made the hair on my neck stand up when she told me that Sally died on Halloween. Wow. And that's when she feels her mom most. So at her house, music will play out of nowhere. There have been reports of certain theaters that, that Sally had been to that weird things happen. Maybe it's her, maybe Look it's at not. That. And Jody has an event coming up next month. She has month. an event coming up uh, in November. Uh, you can check that out on our website, TwinCitiesEye.com. We've got all the details there. All right. Speaking of Halloween.